Hi everybody, Tina here with Two Chicks and a Cricut, and this is our third Christmas Layout Tuesday, and this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Cuddle Bug and some patterned paper, and then I'm going to be using um, Winter Woodland and Winter Frolic Cricut cartridges. And this is a super fun layout. I'm really excited about it. And so let's just get started. I'm going to show you some fun things that I did. The first thing I'm going to show you is what I did with this patterned paper. So this came in a paper pack that I got last year, and I really love it, but I have a really hard time using paper like this that has like kind of a scenery type thing going on. And so um, for this layout, what I decided to do is I trimmed off this bottom piece, uh, the snowman. So I just... To the very top of the head, I just, I don't even know how, really how big it is, I just chopped off the snowman. So that left me with this strip. Okay, so I'm using this blue piece of paper as my background paper. And then this strip that I cut, I'm going to put it on top here. But the other thing that I'm going to do first is I have this piece of white paper and it's kind of a shimmery white it's just a piece of basil paper that I picked up um, at Michael's and this is a creative memories um, decorative trimmer and I got it a long time ago I don't even know if you can still get them but I'm gonna take this and it has two different uh, ways you can cut you can cut this really curvy wavy one or this this one is a more mild curve so what I'm doing is I'm gonna take a four inch strip So this is a Creative Memories trimmer, and I got it a long time ago. And I'm not even sure you can still get them, but it's just the Creative Memories decorative trimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, and cut a 4-inch strip from this more mild curve. Wouldn't you know it? Nobody important. Okay. So I have this strip now, and I'm going to cuddle bug this. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to get my cuddle bug out. And I'm going to show you a super easy trick. I have this cuddle bug folder and it is um, snowflakes. All these distractions, I've, I'm losing concentration. So I want to cuddle bug this whole bottom piece. And as you can see, it's a longer piece. It's not just a piece you're going to stick in your, be able to stick in your folder and run it through normal. So what I do is I turn my folder this way. And I stick the paper in this way, and then I'm going to lay it down on my cuddle bug, and we're going to push it through. Which is not the easiest thing while I'm on camera. So now when I open this up, it's just cuddle bugged. I don't even know if you can tell because it's on white paper. There we go. It's cuddle bugged right up to here. So I'm going to 
move it down and do the same thing. I'm going to line it up and do it again. Okay, so now that I've cuddle bugged that, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach these two pieces to make my background paper. Here's how my cuddle bug piece turned out, and it has it's all snowflakes. And I'm gonna put a lot of adhesive on the snowflake embossed part because otherwise it'll come up. So I'm just overlapping it over that piece of blue paper a little bit. So now I've already done that to my other side. So now I have two pieces that look like this. Now if you didn't have the Creative Memories trimmer, you could just cut freehand it if you wanted like it it wouldn't you know be a big deal so we're going to start with this first side and I've already cut all my stuff out and matted my photos like I always do and so it's going to be real simple I cut this little girl out of winter frolic and she's supposed to be making a little snow angel and I have stitched around the edges and then I've also put a little gem in the middle of the bow and I used googly eyes and then I drew the mouth and I added some little rosy cheeks and then I have this leaded snow And my photos are going to go right on here. Just like this is how it's going to look. So that's one side and I'll glue it down and then I'm going to show you some other fun stuff I did to it. So I'm going to show you how this side's going to look. So same thing. 
And then I've already cut my stuff out. Winter fun is going to be up here. And then I have some photos. That will go on here. And then I've cut these out. Uh, Winter Fun came out of Winter Frolic. And then these gloves came off of Winter Woodland. And the scarf is going to go there. So what I've done for this layout is um, I've used red as an accent color, as you can see. In my lettering, I used the red, and then also matting my photos. And that is a great way to just add a pop of color when you're, you know, my background paper didn't have any red in it, but I was wearing a red shirt in, one, in this photo right here. I was wearing a red shirt, and so that's where I got the red from, and it gave it a little pop, and I dressed her in red, and then I also did the gloves and the scarf in red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all of this down because you don't need to see me do that. And then I'm going to show you some fun stuff that I did to the cuts that I cut out. And um, I'll show you the whole layout um, next. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I did uh, on this on these cuts. You know I always say that your Cricut cuts are the foundation of your creativity. You cut these out and then you... Um, can just have fun doing different things to them. So what I've done is I've added stickles to everything red. And this is just, um, it's called, this stickles is X, Xmas Red. So it's Christmas Red. And I've just added it to all my red layers. My background paper had a little bit of glitter in it. So, and then I used the shimmery white paper for um, my top my cuts and my paper right there so I just wanted to add a little bit of glitter to tie it in
wanted to make one mention. When I was cutting this cut out, these little feet right here were this color because this was the first um, layer. And so what I did is I just colored it in black and then I'm going to put some glossy accents over it when I can find it. I've been looking for it and I can't seem to find my glossy accents, but uh, when I find it I'm going to put some glossy accents over that. So the next thing on this side that I did, I wanted to show you guys this part. If you can see my red uh, layers right here, I cuddle bugged with that snow um, cuddle bug folder. And so what I'm going to do for these, instead of doing the whole letter red, I'm going to put stickles right on the snowflakes. So anywhere that it's raised with a snowflake, that's what I'm going to stickle. And then the only other thing that I did is I had some rhinestones and I'm just going to put a rhinestone right in the middle of those gloves. just like that and then I'm going to add a little bit more stickles. And then I've realized that I left one small part off that I can't do because I've stickled. So I'll have to, you'll see this in the picture when I take the picture. But I'm going to tie a bow right here. And I just won't be able to do that because now I have wet glitter on here. But I'm going to tie that bow right on the bottom. So I'm going to take a picture of this. It'll be under the post. And this is our um, third 
Christmas Layout Tuesday. I'll have some journaling that will go right here. And um, you can check out the picture for the rest of the details. Sorry about this layout. I had lots of distractions that happened while I was shooting this video. So tune in next Tuesday for another Christmas layout. And feel free to leave me any comments on questions you have about Christmas layouts or... Um, if you want to see anything particular, let me know and I'll try to uh, work it in. Thanks for stopping by the blog today, guys.